So welcome back friends. One of the most common questions that I receive is this. Why do you run your chainsaw bars upside down? Well, it's coming close and I'll explain. All chainsaw bars, regardless of size or manufactured, are designed to run upside down or right side up. And that's proven by the oil, oiling port that we're gonna find behind the main cover here. So here on the Steel 461, like almost all other saws, is going to have an opening. You see this opening right here is an oval. And the reason why it's an oval is it needs to be able to supply bar oil to the bar at any configuration uh, that you might find. And so why, what you may find is that you'll have uh, varying different chain lengths, new chains will stretch, and this, this bar is in a constant, it's always going to be in a different position like this. So it needs to be able to supply the lubricant to the rails of the bar. Now here's the issue. If we look on the bar right there, you see that little hole? This is our oiling hole. And if the bar is oriented this way, now you can understand how the lubricant that's flowing out of here is directed into that bar. Now if we flip it over, just like this, we'll see that we also have, on this side, an oil hole as well. The manufacturer has provided these and intended for us to flip this bar every time we file a chain. And the reason why is the chain doesn't wear the bar evenly. How your bar is going to wear for most cutting is going to be on the towards the front and towards the bottom. That's where you're putting all of the force on the saw. If you're bucking firewood or you're limbing or doing different things, that's where the majority of the wear is going to be. And if you look at a new bar when you buy it, you'll see oftentimes you'll get some discoloration or the paint will tend to wear off of here soonest. Now, if you're cutting a bunch of limbs and that's your primary job, your saws get your bar is going to wear really heavy here on the front or the tip. How we can extend the life of the bar by 50% is by rotating it. And it's a good practice to rotate it every time you file the chain or sharpen the chain. What that's giving us is it's taking a little, getting a little relief off the bottom, flipping it to the top, and now we're wearing, we have a brand new surface to wear. So if you get in the habit of doing that over and over again, then you're going to extend your bar length by uh, 50%. Another question I get all the time is, how does a guy know when the, the bar is worn out, when it's time to, for it to be replaced? Well, there's a simple test. All you need is something that has a straight edge on it, a ruler, a pencil, what, whatever. Put the bar uh, on your saw, uh, tension the chain, and go down here and measure off the bottom of the bar against an outside tooth and press. If you press upon this and you still see that there is a nice gap there like we have, we have a, a relatively new bar, there's not a lot of lateral movement from side to side, a little bit there but very little, and not so much that it, this gap closes at the top of the bar between the pencil or the straight edge, then your bar is in very good shape. Let me show you the difference of one that's completely worn out. Now here we have a bar that is completely worn out. You can see back and forth how much slop that we have. And if we do indeed take our pencil and press it against the bar and against an outside tooth, it closes the gap. There is no gap. It even goes so far as it will open up so much that there is a gap between the, the straight edge uh, and the tooth. That's a, saw, uh, that's a saw bar that has pretty much had it. What we have in this groove, when it's new from the factory, is a perfect U shape. What we have from this bar here that is heavily worn is a V shape. Once we get to that point right there, we have a bar that's going to well, sometimes start throwing some chain. Um, it's going to walk, wobble back and forth and it's just gonna really perform poorly. An interesting fact about chainsaws and chainsaw bars, what we're finding is that uh, guys who hand file their saws, meaning with a hand file with a round file, what, what typically tends to happen is they wear out bars much quicker uh, than guys that replace chains with chisel ground chain or, or with machine ground chains. And it's got no nothing to do with the process. What typically happens is that the guys that round file their chains, they don't remove the chain from the bar. They file it on the chain. And what happens is there's a higher tendency for this oil port to get plugged with sawdust and oil or some little pine needle or something. And it goes unnoticed and also a hand filer doesn't typically switch his bar every time because he doesn't need to change the chain. Where the guy that's grinding his files or, or, take, or going into the woods with multiple chains, 
and when a chain when a chain gets dull and he's changing he's going to take it off he's going to flip the bar and he's going to make sure that that oil port is cleaned out now that's really really critical and something that happens all the time that i see and guys overlook it and you end up burning up expensive bars so what happens is here's our oiler port right here right so we want to flip it's exposed to the sawdust and everything that goes up there it fills up and it gets plugged solid. You grab it, you wanna do the right thing, you flip your bar over and you forget to clean that out. So just take a little stick or a little, your pocket knife or whatever and make sure that that is completely clean, blow it out, then when you install it, it will oil properly. And one quick pro tip before you go, something you never wanna be without is uh, is your is your scrunch tool. Your combination of a spark plug tool, uh, chain tensioning. This is this this is a tool that's going to come with pretty much every saw. You have to see one that didn't come with one of these. And I'm always surprised how many guys go out to cut and don't have one of these on them. You throw a chain and then you're out of luck. These should always be together. You just consider them to be like a hand and a glove, just a pair. Uh, one trick you can do is take and drill a hole and put a piece of paracord through there and lash that uh, to your belt and just have it on you all the time. Now, if you have multiple saws and you have some saws that maybe run the little tiny bar nuts, you know, doing that's gonna render it unusable. So then just take and drill all the way through it and then string this in the middle. I, I don't have any saws for this particular wrench that take that, so I, I just run it through the end. And also, another tip of something that I've really liked and I've used for years, well, I've got them on my keys, are these little carabiner deals. Now, these are made by, who has these, Night Eyes? These are not fall rated, of course, 75 pounds, it says. But this is a perfect thing, and I have several of these that I use uh, just for this situation. You can clip your bar on there, you can put it onto your belt, and it doesn't, it's always handy. Uh, you have it nearby. And the nice thing about this over the carabiners uh, is that it's got two bales on it. And the one bale that you're not going to open all the time has this little plastic sleeve on there and then you can pull that up there and you can lock it and you, when you grab it because when you're grabbing your keys or different things it's hard to orient you never know you end up pushing one and your keys fall off it's always locked and then you have this open so I just I this is the one I use for everything when I'm cutting you know I usually take it off here and put it on there for my saw but these are really really nice uh, for keys and for all those little things. I'll put these in my Amazon store at wranglermart.com. They're not very expensive and they come in different sizes, but this is a handy thing for a million deals. So that's it. I hope that answers your question. I would not have you remain in ignorance, brethren, uh, so that now you'll know when you see that, that's, that's the reason why, is people are just extending the life of their bars. So happy cutting, and we'll see you guys on the next video.